Hello and welcome to Kids Church Online. We are so excited to have you join us as we're going to tune in to our show right on time. Now, before we tune into the show, I want us to know two things. The first is to love God. And I want you to say that as loud as you possibly can with me. Are you ready? One, two, three. Love God. Awesome. You guys did so good. Now we can be people who love God by singing the songs to God, like worshiping him and taking time out of our day to listen to what he's saying to us. And the other thing we need to know is love others. So I want you to say that with me as loud as you possibly can. One, two, three, love others. Oh, you guys did such a great job. And now we're gonna tune in to Right On Time and see what today's episode is all about. What's up everybody, I'm Cam. I'm Ryan. And you're Right, right On, on time. time. Today's show is all about a time we all get to experience, school time. I love school, always have. Especially lunch, recess, snacks, hanging out with my friends in the hallway. <laughs> and of course, making good grades on your report card, going to the library. Ooh, we can't forget art class. That's always been my favorite. This is one of my proudest accomplishments. I was in third grade when I made this bad boy. And on that note, we've got something really special planned for today's daily challenge. Yes, today we're bringing one of the most fun classes to you. Somebody ring the bell because you're right on time for art class. We're going to be drawing something that has to do with school. But we're going to be drawing on each other's backs. Cam is going to draw something on my back, and I'm going to draw what I think she's drawing, and then we'll switch. This is going to be pretty tricky, but I think we can do it. You ready to get started? You know it. <laughs> All right, ladies first. Yes. Okay, this is going to be really fun. All right, you ready? Okay, let's do it. Okay. What do you think? Okay, uh, let's see. I don't know, but let's see how close I was. All right, what did you draw? Okay, so I thought you were maybe drawn like one of those protractor things, you know, like you draw angles oh. with in geometry class. Hey, well, sometimes they do have a pencil attached. Oh, okay, so I kind of was maybe halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, close enough. All right, shall we switch? Sure. My turn to draw. Okay. Okay, I think that's done. Did you get it all? I think so. All right, let's see. What right. do you think I drew? Well, uh, I thought it was a map of the playground. Oh. Like here's the uh, the basketball hoops and maybe a slide. Nice, I mean, you, you were in the right area, but actually I did this shot of a playground play set. Wait, what, you drew that? Like just now? Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> now, after all that art class, I think it's time for my favorite class, music. La 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 la! Yep, I'm ready. Let's get to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not enough to get by a life that's not humble. Lord, I wanna be kind. You show me how to live. I wanna know your voice. You tell me that's what matters most. That's what matters most. Hey, 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 hey. God says what's good to live me to live in the way that I should. God says what's good to live me to live in the way that I should. Be kind each day, living humble to obey. Whoa. Small. 
good to live me to live in the way that I should. God says, What's good? To live me to live in the way that I should. Be kind each day, live in number to obey. Do it right. Raise your hands and touch the sky. Stomp your feet if you feel the beat now. Lift your voice and sing it loud. Everybody sing it out now. class is so fun. You know, when I think about school and all of the fun things we get to do there, I can't help but think about some of the hard things that happen at school too. Like what? Well, I don't know if you've ever been picked on, but there have definitely been times when someone has said or done mean things to me, and I just wasn't sure what to do. Well, uh, of course you got even, right? Uh, you said something even meaner, or you embarrassed them in front of the whole class so they never messed with you again. I mean, come on, you know you've got a good story. You do, don't you? Actually, th there was this one time, but I'm not proud of what happened. Oh, come on, Cam, tell us what happened. Did you karate chop somebody? <laughs> Take that, bully. <laughs> Nothing like that. See, this girl at my school was being really mean. She kept making fun of my clothes and my hair, and I always felt bad about myself. Well, personally, I think you have pretty great hair. <laughs> and I know good hair when I see it. Thanks, Ryan. Well. Unfortunately, I didn't deal with the whole situation the way I should have. I decided that I was going to get even by telling everyone mean things about her. Oh man, what happened next? Well, it went back and forth for a while until I finally watched this video that helped me see it was never going to get better if I didn't step up and do what was right. Well, here, watch this. So the other day I'm sitting in class and Billy throws a paper plane straight into the back of Mr. Quattlebaum. Mr. Q was furious and immediately turned around to get justice. As soon as he looked in my direction, Billy told Mr. Quattlebaum that I threw it. Dude, I could not believe that he was shifting the blame my way. Without even thinking about it, Mr. Q kicked me out into the hall. I had to spend the entire day in detention and was ready to plan my revenge until I saw this. Joseph was that dude. He got the attention of everyone he met. He learned the importance of being kind to others, and his hardworking attitude as a slave paid off. Potiphar, the pharaoh's main man, noticed Joseph and put him in charge of his whole house. With Joseph calling the shots, Potiphar didn't have anything to worry about except for the food that he was going to eat. He could trust Joseph to take care of everything he owned. Not only was Joseph kind, he was strong and handsome too. He wasn't in charge for long when Potiphar's wife, let's just call her Potiphar, Notice Joseph. In fact, she wanted Joseph to fall in love with her, but Joseph knew that this was wrong because she was already married. Joseph told Hotifer that there was no way that he could fall in love with her, but she did not care. Every day she would beg Joseph to be her man, but he refused. He knew he needed to be kind to his master, and most importantly, he knew it would be a sin against God. It's kind of like if you found a $5 bill on the floor next to your friend's desk. You know the money belongs to them, but you could keep it for yourself. The kind thing to do would be to give the money back to your friend. Well, Joseph kept working hard, but one day he was inside doing his chores when Hotifer grabbed him by the coat and tried to force him to love her. Joseph knew he'd better run away, so when he did, he left his coat in Hotifer's hands. As you can imagine, she did not think it was cool that Joseph wouldn't do what she wanted. She decided to make up lies about him, telling some of her servants that Joseph wanted her to fall in love with him. She could not wait for Potiphar to come home, and when he did, she lied and said that Joseph had done some really terrible things to her. Well, of course, Potiphar was angry. He could not believe that Joseph would treat her so unkindly. To punish Joseph, Potiphar had him thrown into prison where the king's enemies were kept. So that really sunk for Joseph. You would think he would have tried to punch Potiphar's lights out, but instead, he chose to forgive the false accusation and make the most of his days in prison. 
I've got one more day of detention for something that I didn't even do. But instead of being angry and thinking about ways to pay back Billy, I'm gonna make the most of my time and get to know the kids that are in there. It's really cool that even when other people aren't kind to us, God can help us be kind to them. When we follow God, we get to love being kind. Wow, it must have been so hard for Joseph to be in prison for something that he didn't do. Mm -hmm. But how awesome is it that he kept his cool and made the best out of a bad situation? Yep, and after I watched that, I felt really bad about the choices I had made. Sure, I was hurt by the bully, but I knew it was best to be kind. So what happened between you and the bully after you started being kind? Well, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> this is the bully now. Um, you're standing really close to someone who was so mean to you. Well, that's the best part. She isn't mean to me anymore. Now she's one of my very best friends. We hang out all the time and do everything together. All because you were kind to her? Well, not right away, but eventually, yes. See, when I showed her mercy day after day, it made me feel really good, and I started to really love being kind. I loved the way it made others feel, and I didn't feel as bad about my choices because I knew I was doing what was right. Well, time out. You said a word there that I've heard before, but I'm not sure what it means. I think it was mercy? When you hear the word mercy, you may think of the mercy rule in sports. You know the one where the score keeps ticking up for one team and the other team doesn't have a chance? So they end the inning or the game to keep the other team from getting clobbered. To say you're going to show someone mercy is just another way of saying you're going to forgive them or be kind to them even though they don't deserve it. A baseball team may not deserve to have an inning end before they get three outs, but out of kindness, the mercy rule kicks in. And this idea of showing mercy shows up all over the Bible too. Like in Micah 6.8, it says, the Lord has shown you what is good. He has told you what he requires of you. You must act with justice. You must love to show mercy. And you must be humble as you live in the sight of your God. God wants us to not just show mercy, but to love showing mercy to others. He knows that being kind to someone, even when they don't deserve it, will make us feel way better than being mean or not forgiving them at all. And you want to know the number one reason we should love showing mercy to others? Because God was kind to us and showed us mercy when we didn't deserve it. Everyone has sinned, and those wrong things we've done hurt our friendship with God. But God loves to show mercy. So he fixed our relationship with him by being kind enough to send his own son to take the punishment for our sins so that we could be completely forgiven. So mercy is being kind. And since God was so kind to us, let's love being kind to others. So when we love being kind to others, that means we're kind even when it's hard. And it means that we don't give them what they deserve because thankfully, God doesn't give us what we deserve. Instead, he's kind and forgives us. Hey everybody, my name is Vladimir um, and I wanna tell you a story about how I learned to be kind to others. But before I do, I just wanna let you know that uh, it, it's not always easy to be kind to others. Sometimes it's hard and we have to learn God's way for us and how to love others. But when I was younger, when I was in school, one of my friends, they stole one of my video games. And I was really upset about it. Um, I wanted to, to steal it back. I wanted to get angry at him. I wanted to um, tell bad things about that person. But instead I prayed about it and I asked, what, what, what would Jesus do? What would God do? Um, and I realized that this person was upset and they did this because they didn't have video games. So actually I just let them keep it as a gift and it wasn't easy to do, but I felt so much better after doing it because that was a loving thing to do. And I know that Jesus would have done that. So I hope that you guys can learn how to be kind to others and learn what God has for you. What an encouraging story about how important it is to be kind to others. For me, that looks a lot like not trying to get the last word in. You know, just letting things go and not saying hurtful things. But last word, that's a great game. Let's play. <laughs> so if you've never played this game before, it's gonna be lots of fun. We'll be given a category and we're going to try and name as many things in that category as we possibly can that start with a certain letter. Now, now normally with games like this, you're trying to name the most. <laughs> 
But for this game, you're just trying to be the last person to name something. You guys at home are going to name as many things as you can as well. All right, time to get started. Our first category is school supplies. School supplies, all right. And our letter is B. B. All right, so we're naming school supplies that start with the letter B. And go. Bulletin board. Uh, box of pencils. Um, backpack. Board games? Board games aren't school supplies. Uh, Could be for recess. Banana, because that's a school supply oh, for lunch. Um, um, blue pen. Yeah. Yay, yeah, there you go. All right. Blue pen, blue crayon, maybe you need a blue marker, maybe just like blue, and so everything's blue. You're stealing all the blues. Sorry. Um, 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 that, oh, oh, then that's time. time. Okay, so did, did I get the last one? Did you get the last one? You said blue marker, so I guess. Yeah, but you said blue pen, so I think it's you. Okay, well, thanks, friend. All right. all right, so I got that one. All right, next category. Next category. All right, next category is lunchroom. Mm. All right. And lunchroom. Our letter for lunchroom is T. T. All right. Things in a lunchroom that start with T. Ready and go. Tacos. Oh, that's good. Um, 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 tea, like what you drink. Yeah, yeah there you go. Right. Yeah. Um, toothpicks. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I can see that. Trays. Oh, trays. You did two, man. Okay, how oh, many? Uh, tea. Um, teaspoon. Is that yeah. Teaspoon? Like, you know, teachers are in the lunchroom oh, most of the time. They stay in there with you. Yeah, that's good. Um, 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 uh, uh, oh, that's it. Timer. Timer's not in the lunchroom. It's right True. here with us. So I guess okay. you got that one. Okay. Good so, work. Teacher one to thinking, one. thinking outside the box there. <laughs> last round. Let's get our last category. All right, last category is? People at school. Hmm. And our letter is? Wild card! <laughs> Wild card means that you can name anything, or in this case, anybody, that starts with any letter as long as it's in the category of people at school. Mm. This is gonna be fun. And go. <laughs> teacher. Uh, librarian. Um, janitor. G uh, music teacher? Gym teacher. The principal. Uh, uh, well, all your classmates are there. First graders? Second graders. Third graders. <laughs> fourth graders. Fifth graders. The art teacher. Mm, and bell teacher? Bus driver. Hey! Uh, oh, and there it is, Tom! Got it! Woo! Man, that last round felt a lot like rapid fire. Uh, speaking of, it's time for our rapid, rapid fire, fire review! review. Yes! This is such a fun game. All right, one of us is going to recap everything we've learned today in one minute or less. But there's a fun catch to this game. While one of us is reviewing, the other one is gonna be throwing things. If the reviewer is able to name six things we've talked about today during that minute, the thrower has to put their hand in the mystery box. But if the reviewer doesn't name at least six things during the minute, they have to put their hand into the mystery box. And since today is all about school, the box probably has has something you would use while you're at school. Well, that can't be all too bad, right? I guess one of us will see. So, how do we decide who reviews? Rock, paper, scissors? Let's do it. Okay, so whoever wins gets to choose if they're going to review or throw, right? Right, all right. Oh, scissors ah. cuts paper. Right on time. Uh. Okay, I'm going for the review. I feel pretty good about it. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. All right, let's do this. Okay, so uh, we learned about being kind. I think the Bible calls it showing mercy. Yeah, that's it. And Micah 6, 8 says that God uh, shows us what is good and that we should uh, love showing mercy. Or in other words, love being kind to others because God is kind to us. Uh, our theme of the day is school. And we went to art class by guessing drawings. And we went to music classes by singing that song about doing what God says is right. I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got everything in there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, do I need to mention the last word challenge? Even if I don't, it was awesome, so I'm mentioning it. <laughs> That's it. Oh, did I forget anything? Oh, man. This is something that I thought would never happen. Oh, no. I forgot something, didn't I? You forgot to mention about how Joseph went to jail for something he didn't do. Oh, my goodness. You're right. I can't believe I forgot to talk about how he made the most of his time in jail by being kind to others, even when others weren't being kind to him. Mm, I'm so excited to see what's in the mystery box. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right. All right, uh, ooh, okay. 
Okay, I think this is definitely something you would find like in a lunchroom, because it's, it's kind of squishy, but it's also kind of tough. And when I squeeze it, it doesn't break. Maybe it's like a tomato? Because you know, you can squeeze that and it's kind of squishy. Wait a second. But like there's something plastic sticking out. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's a fruit cup and a spoon. Uh, well, make a guess. What's your final answer? Uh, I'm gonna go with a fruit cup and a plastic spoon. Okay. Oh! oh okay, it really wasn't that far off. And honestly, <laughs> I like this better anyway. Man, I'm kind of jealous of you, Cam. You got one of my absolute favorite snacks right there. Oh, I know. I was just trying to guess something, but I'm so thankful it's pudding because I was getting hungry. Hey, everybody. I love everything that we learned today, but doing the right thing, it can be hard sometimes, and we need God's help. So let's pray and ask him to help us right now. So will you, will you please bow your heads and close your eyes, and let's pray together right now. Father God, thank you for loving us. We know that you want us to do what's right, even when others don't. Help us to make good choices and to show mercy to others. As I learn and grow, help me to love showing kindness to everybody I meet. You're the best, we love you, amen. I'm gonna be praying that every day. Me too, honestly. Now, without further ado, it's that time again. Time to find out our next challenge. I don't know about you, but I feel like they get more fun week by week. Yes, I totally feel like <laughs> that. And this one is no different. Yeah? I'm gonna let this one be a surprise to you too, Cam. Cool. I love surprises. See you guys next time. <laughs>And just like that, our time for today is up. But don't worry, we're gonna come back next week where you can tune into our next episode of Right On Time. See you then, bye.